What would you do if the authorities wanted to arrest you and seize your computer because you were downloading torrents? What would you do if you worked for an evil company and were about to be fired? In this episode of Bauer Power, I want you to ask yourself, What do you do? What do you do? Has this ever happened to you? You are getting ready to post a link to something hilarious on Twitter, but it's too long! So you go to a URL shortening service. And that's when it happens. You get killed by a ninja. But that will never happen at ninjrill.us. After all, we specialize in ninjas. Our trained ninja staff will protect you from bad ninjas. And we'll shorten your URL too. Visit ninjural.us and slash those links. Welcome to episode 18 of Bauer Power. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, a.k.a. Twitter.com slash Pablo. And uh, today i got a pretty good show for you. I'm going to show you how to wipe a hard drive remotely using an email. Um, and also, less destructive, just wiping out a certain set of folders uh, with just an email. Now, uh, I learned this from uh, my buddy Carl over at AskTheAdmin.com. Here's the article. Um, where he tells you how to uh, kick off an application using Outlook. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, first, um, you might be asking, why would you want to do it? Well, I don't know. I came up with some scenarios. They're kind of lame, but uh, you can come up with a reason yourself. Um, the scenarios I thought up of were uh, maybe you're getting arrested by the police and uh, maybe they want to get your files off your computer, um, but you get a free phone call in this country, so you... you Demand your phone call, right? I want my phone call. I want it. I want it. I want my phone call. And after you get your phone call, you you uh, you dial like Google Voice and you say your keyword into Google Voice. That does uh, voice to text transcription, sends you an email um, that has a keyword in it, and bam, that kicks off the remote wipe on your computer. Okay, that's scenario one. Scenario two is maybe you get called an HR. And uh, they're not very happy with you. Sit down, Bob. I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. Okay, so you get fired. Uh, you're disgruntled, so you send off an email, and bam, all your uh, important files for the last five months are destroyed. Okay? Those are my scenarios. Um, you can come up with whatever you want. Mainly this is for education purposes, just to prove that you can do it. Okay, so what I did was I installed a program called um, HD Guru's uh, Hard Disk Wipe Tool. Okay, um, it's free. You can download it here. And then what I did was I created my own uh, personal program called Remote Wipe. Okay, so uh, we'll go into C Program Files. You can download a remote wipe from my FTP server here. And once you download it, you're going to drop it into uh, C program files HDD Guru free wipe tools directory. Okay, so we see it's, it's right there. And what that does is it's, uh, it's basically an auto it program that automates uh, the wipe tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new tool in Outlook, or create a new rule in Outlook rather. So we'll click on tools, rules and alerts. Okay, and we'll create a new rule. And uh, the rule is going to be check messages as they arrive. Click next. And we'll say with specific words. And for my testing purposes, it's going to be in the subject. If you're going to do the, the cop one with the Google Voice, you'll probably want to have the, the keywords in the body somewhere. Um, my keyword is going to be swordfish. Right? Good movie. Love Halle Berry. Click OK. Click next, and there's an option down here to start an application. So we'll click application. All right, and we're going to browse to my remote wipe tool. OK, 
Okay, remote wipe and open. Next, next, finish. Okay. We'll let that update the server. Okay. Now, all we have to do is send an email. Okay, swordfish in the subject line. Send. And bam, it hits our mailbox and starts wiping away. It's that easy. Now the wipe's gonna take a while, so if you're doing this in your lab environment, um, you know, go ahead and find something to do. All right, so now that our hard drive's uh, completely wiped away, uh, we might, you know, you might think that that's pretty drastic, and I, I, I agree. So I'm going to show you a, um, another method that might be a little bit, a little bit more ideal. Um, so as you can see on my desktop, I've created a, a folder here, and we marked it secret, okay? And uh, in it is our porn uh, with our Kim Kardashian right there, okay? And what we're going to use is we're going to use is a... Uh, a sysinternals tool called sdelete, okay? And I've downloaded that and extracted that to my C drive. And we have a folder here, sdelete. And inside, I've created a uh, uh, batch file. Um, C, change directory, sdelete, sdelete. I have to do that because we're gonna kick it off in uh, Outlook, and Outlook automatically tries to kick it off from uh, the Outlook installation folder. And it's not there. Um, so we have to tell Outlook um, it's in C delete. So I've done that. Um, S delete minus uh, P and uh, and a number there. The number is how many um, how many uh, wipes it's going to do. I put 32 in there because 32 is the amount of a Gutman wipe, and that's pretty secure. It's going to overwrite that file 32 times, um, so it's not going to be able to recover. Um, and the directory, we're doing desktop and the secret folder, right? And minus S means uh, recursive. So that's everything in that folder. So if you have subfolders in there, that's going to get wiped too. Since we only have a picture of Kim Kardashian, though, this is going to go really effing quick. So we'll click start. And that was an earlier test. We'll delete that. And rules and alerts. And we'll delete our old test. And we'll create a new rule. And we're going to create the same way. Check messages as they arrive uh, with specific uh, words. We're going to still use swordfish. Okay. And next. And start. Same thing. Start an application. All right. And we're going to go to computer. C drive, S delete, and we're going to change this to all files and select our wipe.cmd uh, file. Open, next, next, finish. Okay. Let that update the server. Okay. Now, once again, we send our email. Subject swordfish send. Okay, then we just wait for it to arrive in our inbox. Bam! It arrives, our script kicks off, and that puppy's gone. All right. Now, if you want to see anything else like this, uh, let us know. Hit us up. Uh, shoot us an email, info at bowerpower.net. 
Um, if you can think of some other scenarios, I'd like to hear them because, um, you know, it's really hard. Those are the only two I can think of. And I know they're kind of lame, so, you know, don't put in the comments how lame that you think they are because I already know. Um, but if you can think of another reason why you might want to do this, um, that would be good. Um, on uh, the Ask the Admin thing, I think his was like shut down Outlook and then close his computer. I don't know. So you don't have to just wipe your drive with that. You can um, kick off other applications as well. Um, but that's about it. Uh, if you um, if you want to hear anything else from us, um, got any comments or suggestions, email me, info at BowerPower.net, or hit us up in the comments. But until next time, remember, here at BowerPower, information is power. <laughs>